The Ukrainian armed forces have destroyed seven tanks and up to 10 vehicles outside Chernihivka in the Zaporizhia region. The general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces reported this on Facebook, according to Ukrinform. According to the general staff, the Russian troops continue to focus their efforts on the complete capture of the Donetsk region and the capture of the occupied territories, as well as the disruption of operations by the Ukrainian defense forces in certain directions. The enemy fired on Ukrainian positions and carried out aerial reconnaissance. Russian troops attacked infrastructure and civilian homes, violating the norms of international humanitarian law, the laws and customs of war. There is still the threat of the enemy launching air and missile strikes on targets across Ukraine. On Sunday, October 2, Russian troops launched four missile strikes and three airstrikes, using the MLRS more than 15 times to strike military and civilian objects across Ukraine. More than 15 settlements were affected by enemy attacks, including Rikodub, Krivirid, Zaporizhia, Zalizny, and Mykolaiv. Prior to the liberation of the Lyman settlement, separate enemy units tried to retreat deep into temporarily captured territory. On September 30, a convoy of civilian cars and minibuses carrying more than 200 soldiers from the 2nd Army Corps of the Russian occupying forces was found outside the settlement of Shastya. The delay in reduction of the promised level of payments for participation in the so-called special military operations in Ukraine negatively affected the Russian army. According to the latest information, on October 1, a warehouse with invader ammunition was destroyed near Tavrysk in the Kherson region and seven tanks and up to 10 military vehicles were destroyed near Chernihivka in the Zaporizhia region. Information about the loss of personnel is being clarified. On Sunday, October 1, units of the Ukrainian Defense Forces repelled enemy attacks near Zaitsev, Bakhmutsk, Bakhmut, Odrodivka, Pervomask, Spurn, and Vimka. Ukrainian planes carried out four strikes today, two areas of concentration weapons and military equipment, as well as two enemy anti-aircraft missile systems were attacked. In addition, Ukrainian air defense units shot down eight Iranian Shait suicide drones. Ukrainian rocket and artillery troops hit five command posts, 14 concentration areas of manpower, weapons and military equipment, three warehouses with ammunition and fuel, as well as more than 15 other important objects of the invaders. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ukrainian forces have recaptured the totality of the city of Donetsk, just two days after Putin threatened to use all Russian means to protect the four Ukrainian territories he had illegally annexed. Russian troops had captured the entire Donetsk province by July after weeks of advancing. Now, Russian troops appear to be on the back foot as they keep losing territories. To the own admission of the Russian Defense Ministry, Putin's troops were forced to pull out of Lyman to more advantageous lines due to a threat of encirclement by Ukrainian forces. After recapturing the northeastern region of Kharkiv and part of Donetsk, the Ukrainian forces now have their eyes set on the Russian-controlled provinces of Luhansk and Zaporizhia. In a desperate bid to counter the Ukrainian counteroffensive, Ramzan Kadyrov, leader in the Russian region of Chechnya, urged Putin to consider using a low-yield nuclear weapon in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Zelensky ruled out any peace talks with Russia following Putin's illegal annexation of the four Ukrainian provinces.